We go now to Laura Windsor, who has this report. Cellulite isn't harmful, but many people would like to get rid of it because of the way it looks. There is a treatment called iLipo that is a non-invasive treatment for excess fat and cellulite. Dr. John Perlman, a plastic surgeon in Beverly Hills, explains iLipo and how it works. iLipo is uh, short for intelligent lipo, and it's based on a low-power diode laser that's been shown at very low power levels to open up pores in the fat cells to allow the fat, the triglycerides, to come out as free fatty acids, evacuating the fat cell. So the cell collapses, the body has the ability to metabolize that fat, and it's a method of directed body sculpting. We can decrease the circumference of an area where there's extra fat padding beneath the skin. A good candidate is not somebody who's grossly overweight trying to lose weight because you don't lose that much weight from this alone, but somebody who's dieting and exercising but just can't get a, a good reduction in their circumference in a, in a targeted area. Maybe it's the waist, maybe it's the thighs. Because it's been shown in FDA approved studies that if you add iLipo treatments to a specific area while you're exercising and dieting, it probably quintuples the amount of fat reduction and circumference reduction and shaping of the body that you can achieve. So we want somebody who's really healthful, watching their calories, watching their food intake, and exercising to combine that with iLipo to get the best results. We can do it on the neck, we can do it on the arms, the trunk, thighs. Just one area we don't apply to is the, is the breast area. A patient who's receiving the treatment lies down on a comfortable table, we dim the lights, and we attach to their skin with an elastic band four plates that have about nine little diode lasers in them. Uh, we make sure that their eyes are protected and we also put two small diode uh, stimulating pads over the adjacent lymph node area. So the patient feels essentially nothing. Once we start the machine, there's a red light essentially that's contacting their skin, maybe a slight sense of warmth, but microscopically, if you look with an electron microscope, within four minutes, 80% of the fat cells that are receiving the, the light source from the diode laser are deflating. They've opened a pore and fat's coming out. So visibly, there's, there's not that much of a change. People shrink a little bit with even the first treatment, but now the body has the ability to burn some of those free calories if the patient exercises. Each treatment session is composed of two 10-minute applications of the uh, laser pads, the diode pads, and it's a painless, easy, effortless experience where most patients are checking their email or taking a little nap while they're receiving the treatment. There's no pain involved, and essentially there's no risk involved either. It usually takes a few of these eight treatments for people to start noticing some looseness in their clothing. If you do a measurement, even after the first treatment, there is some shrinkage that occurs almost immediately, but the real benefit is after a series of eight treatments. Most patients have been very pleased with it. I think they have the responsibility of continuing to watch their diet because those fat cells, though emptied, can still refill. So if they watch their diet, I think it's a long-lasting benefit Maybe not quite comparable to undergoing surgery, but without any pain, without any side effects or risks, it's, it's uh, very simple and very effective. One of my patients had an interesting experience, and I'm not sure whether this is unusual or common, but she received the uh, laser treatment uh, to her trunk and to her thighs and had a very successful outcome. I think she lost about four inches, three to four inches from each of her circumferential measurements. About a year and a half later, she went on a long-term trip, a cruise around the world, and gained about 10 or 15 pounds. And when she returned to me, it was quite apparent to both she and I that none of the fat had come back to the treated areas. It had gone to another area of her body, which many people would favor, to the chest area. But in her case, her stomach and thighs remained slim. So to me, that was good proof that there, in many people, is a long-lasting benefit to the laser treatment.